everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video we will have a small discussion about the differences between Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. While Windows 11 Home is quite great as an operating system for basic users, well, Windows 11 Pro does the difference. Even though there's not so many features that are installed on Windows 11 Pro, we can take a look at them and discuss about it. So all in all, these are the differences between Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. And the ones that really differ and are really important are the following. You can set up a local account in Windows 11 Pro over Windows 11 Home. You can also add as a feature Hyper-V, which is a management tool for virtual machines. So basically you can install virtual machines without the need of having another virtual machine software. You also have Windows Sandbox and also Microsoft Remote Desktop which is super important if you don't need TeamViewer or any other third-party software to operate your PC from a distance. When it comes to protection, you also have the BitLocker device encryption and Windows information protection features. These are super important features if you want to take an extra step in protecting your PC, but another great feature is the Group Policy Editor which I know most of you need, even on Windows 11 Home. And there's also a video on this channel in which I show you how to enable group policy with some commands in Windows 11 Home. Well, in the Windows 11 Pro edition, this comes as a default. So let's say, for example, if we want to access the group policy editor, just have to press the Windows button, then simply type group policy editor or edit group policy. And as you can see, it's already showing up in Windows 11 Pro. Coming back to the other features, you also have Windows Update for Business and other business features and a kiosk mode, but some other crucial features that were added to Windows 11 Pro are some hardware differences. Basically, you can add up to 2 terabytes of RAM in Windows 11 Pro over the 128 gigabytes limit in Windows 11 Home. Also, the maximum number of CPU is doubled in Windows 11 Pro, so you can have up to 2 CPUs, and when it comes to CPU cores, you can have up to 100 128 CPU cores over the 64 CPU cores in Windows 11 Home. But basically these are the main differences when it comes to Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. So that means that for some users who do some basic functions on Windows 11, but for the ones who need the following features, well, don't hesitate to buy a key and upgrade to Windows 11 Pro. And that's it. These are the main differences between Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.